Assalamualaikum and very good evening. <coughs> uh, first of all, I will introduce my group member. Firstly, my name is Muhammad Amni Amzar. This is Amirul Hazri. This is Dini Zikri. And lastly, Farhana. <coughs> okay, as a high definition TV owner, you are looking for the easiest and least expensive way to get your local network channel. You may have realized that this is something you don't have to pay your cable TV provider for. Uh, for clear, di clear digital high definition signal are uh, available for free from your local TV station. All you need is the right antenna. But HD TV antenna can be expensive for a good indoor model. model. So this is one of the best HD TV antenna design ever and also the least expensive because you will make it yourself using cardboard and foil. Here's a secret you won't hear from an antenna manufacturer. The TV signal themselves don't care what the antenna is made from as long as the correct arrangement of electrical conductor is present. So our group designed uh, a bow tie antenna which is, uh, we are using a uh, least expensive component and we uh, this antenna can find channel uh, at HDTV uh, at uh, HDTV that needed uh, to for creating this antenna is scissors pen cutter ruler glue tape nut and bolt Cardboard, aluminium foil, a cable, 300 ohm queen lead, and a balloon. To connect the antenna to your receiver, you will need some wire and adapter. So we choose to use a uh, cardboard because cardboard uh, is good to build an antenna because it is light and has no interference with the passage of the TV signal. And the aluminium foil work for receiving the TV signal and need to be used as a reflector at the back of the bow tie antenna. Aluminium is one of the material that is cheap compared to others such as copper and gold. So we decided to choose aluminium because it is also one of the good material to be used in designing the antenna. Now I'm going to present the configuration bowtie shape aperture antenna. Okay, uh, from our design, we choose and we use uh, four antennas, which uh, which are placed face to face from their summit with a small gap between them, because this is the principle of bowtie antennas. The performance of these antennas depends on the several geometric parameters. For example. Uh, the size of the bow tie, the angle, and the gap size. The calculation that we made, uh, we use uh, a bow tie antenna calculator that they, that we found in the internet. We choose to use uh, one gigahertz as our frequency. Uh, from the calculation, we got the height of the wings of the antennas is 7.49 cm and the width of the antennas is 11.25 cm. The bandwidth that we got is 330 MHz and the wavelength of the antennas is 299.8 mm. The reason why we choose uh, 1 GHz frequency is because we, we want to obtain the ideal size of uh, antenna. Uh, in which this antenna can be patched on the wall of the house. If we choose to use smaller frequency of the size, uh, this, uh, the frequency, the size of the antenna is quite big, which is not suitable to patch on the wall, and some of the people is not convenient with it. Present to show uh, the, our visa uh, for the bota antenna. Okay, it here. Okay, this bota antenna we just uh, mount at the wall because we need to the 
better signal. Okay. Look at our CDB. This is our result. Okay, if you can see, um, it's like uh, not very clear because um, the uh, surrounding here not very, very, very okay. So, but uh, the overall, you can see the CDB. Uh, uh, clearly and also sound uh, clearly also and what else we need to and just we need to to uh, what to we need to uh, okay. oh we need to adjust the wire because sometimes uh, for the HTV also we need to change because uh, we need to do this like this yes. you can see it okay. <laughs> Sama sama kepada semua dan terima kasih kepada semua yang sudah sokong kita dan kita boleh duduk kakak di YouTube. Okay, you can see right. This video when we adjust our wires for the test. Okay, ah, thank you.